Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Art of Rally. Last time we finished the 1990s, the, 1990, the year of 1990s specifically, and this time around we will uh, play in 1991, beginning with the first country, which will be Kenya. So we will be playing in Kenya. It's a nice return to Africa. We haven't been here in quite a while. It's about time that we switch it up a bit and enjoy more biome of diversity. So let's uh, let's enjoy this properly, shall we? So we're playing with uh, a standard regular car. The car controls quite nicely. Nothing to complain about it so far. The landscapes will be a bit arid and dry. God damn it, I already overshot it. And I really need to be careful about uh, over accelerating. Oh. Over accelerating in this game is very dangerous because uh, the brakes aren't as efficient as you would hope they would be. Like, uh, I don't want to. If you're someone that uh, likes to drive in real life and this game looks particularly appealing to you, I will be the first one to tell you that this game does not replicate real life driving at all. Like driving in real life uh, an actual car compared to driving a car in this game are nothing alike. There's very little similarity between them. In fact, I would say that driving uh, in, in this game is far more difficult than driving in real life. As it should be actually because you know it's a video game and it needs to have a, a high difficulty curve. But uh, controlling your car in this game is not particularly easy compared to driving in real life where controlling the car is very straightforward. The car is far less responsive in this game and the addition of the physics and certain mechanics like friction with the road and inertia are implemented in such a way that it makes it very difficult for you to properly control your car without skidding around and possibly overshooting curves by a long shot. Like This is an annoying factor of the game which I understand that they needed to implement it in this way so that they had a difficulty at all because otherwise the game would have been far too easy. But the downside is that the controls are the least appealing part of this game. Like they feel a bit floaty and uh, unnecessarily difficult to master. Like I actually think they went overboard with making the game difficult, the cars in this game difficult to control. So certain cars are easy to control and others are just downright horrible. Like, you cannot control them even if you try. Particularly the rotary V2 or R2 or whatever, or whatever the fuck it was called. I tried playing with that thing. And it had high acceleration, I will admit that. Like, if you kept the pedal on the acceleration, you... If you kept the foot on the acceleration pedal, that like the car would uh, accelerate like a fucking rocket forward. But... Uh, Besides going forward, the car that car was almost impossible to do anything with. Like I did my best at trying to steer it and I would just I never got the hang of it. Like they overcompensated the high acceleration with what I can only describe as the most heinous controls I have ever seen in this game. And I, that, that award has not been beaten by any car since then. Well, like, I don't know how, how they designed the controls for that thing, but it was an absolute disaster of a car. And I don't, like, if I'm, that's the only car I'm really confident that, uh, what the fuck, why are you, what the hell just happened here? Like that, the Rotary V2 or R2 or, or whatever is the only car that I feel confident in saying that if I ever roll it, I will re-roll immediately. Like, I just don't want to play in that car. With any other car, regardless of how shitty the controls are, I would be willing to give it another shot. 
just because I think there's value in playing a random card every single time and uh, deciding the luck of the draw to decide the, the card I'm playing in. Oh, we're on save of plates. That, that, that's, that pretty much sucks. But yeah, I think there's value in... Uh, in uh, in in deciding in letting fate decide which car I'm playing in, but the rotary V2 will not be a car that I will be playing in ever again. Like even if it gets randomly rolled, I will just reroll it in, in, in something else because, frankly speaking, I don't want to to have a heart attack while fucking trying to control that thing. It's not worth it. Like, even I have my standards. Particularly now, when in the final stages of the game there seem to be multiple countries in, in which we play in, in the same year. So, that just uh, uh, prolongs the suffering, because you have to keep on playing for multiple... for a lot of stages in the same car. And I just don't want to deal with that. If a car is difficult to control, then I would just rather not uh, play with it at all. Yeah, the sceneries look quite nice. Okay, let's begin. Yeah, this car is not the worst kind of car I've ever controlled. Like, this is far superior to the road area, at the very least. Although from the color of the car and in this particular line, lighting, it definitely looks like I'm driving in a taxi cab. Which makes this particularly funny. Like, can you... Just imagine there being an organized rally race and the driver for that rally just fails to show up and someone from the crowd just uh, just calls a cab and orders the cab to do laps on the rally track like that's that's the feeling i'm getting right now like someone from the audience just decided you know what i'll pay i'll pay a random taxi driver like 1000 bucks or something to drive around in his taxi cab just so that uh, everybody else has a show That would be qu quite nice. To be fair, like this is the most diverse kind of environment though that this game depicts. Like the fauna looks very different than the European and Japanese ones. The 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 the, the, the trees look different and quite unique compared to the other environments. Like there's a lot of love put into these level designs that make uh, the fact that they get depicted realistically look really nice. Like it's nice to have some diversity. I'm really glad that we diverge from Europe and Asia at least at a very... at, at least just a tiny bit. And, and I say Asia but in actuality it's just, just of Japan. Japan is the only country in Asia I think we had any rallies in. It's, it's just been Japan and Europe and Kenya. That's all that there's been. Okay, we're on place on sixth place. We can definitely have done better, but uh, I kept on rambling instead of focusing on the racetrack. 
anyways that's it for today's video thank you very much for watching if you want to get in touch with me i have a mastodon account as well as a metrics room that you can join details of which you can find in the description of this video and in the meantime thank you very much for watching and see you next time